Hello everybody, my name is Rachel Westwood and I'm a careers and employability advisor at Sheffield Hallam University, which I'll refer to as SHU throughout this presentation. I'm delivering this presentation today to tell you more about my role, how I work with students and graduates at SHU and some of the innovative programmes which have been implemented to help graduates transition out of university. As a careers and employability advisor, I support students and graduates with all aspects of their career and employability journey. This includes supporting them with CVs, covering letters and applications, helping them search and apply for placements and graduate roles, um, providing access to assessment centre simulations and psychometric testing practices, providing up-to-date um, local and labour market information. I also support curriculum sessions with academics to ensure that employability is embedded within um, what they are being taught. Um, I also support and organise events and sessions with employers, guest speakers and alumni. And as you can see on the screen here, um, this big logo that says uh, Mind Talk. Um, due to both personal circumstances and previous employment experience, I have an interest in health and well-being and supporting underrepresented student groups. Thus, when I joined SHU, um, I asked to be part of the, the Mind Talk programme, which at the time was um, designed and run by a former colleague who was also a careers and employability advisor. And I will talk more about this programme over the next few slides. So the topic of this year's NAPD conference is transitioning out of university. So I'm going to talk about some of the different programmes and schemes that SHU has to support the final years with their transition out of university. Um, but also I'm going to talk about some of the specific work that I do um, supporting students with, with disabilities and in particular mental health. You can see here on the slide some of the things that I will be discussing, um, which is SHU's graduate lifetime offer, the class of, which this year's class of 2022 offer, the Mind Talk programme, which I've previously mentioned that I run. I'm also going to tell you a bit about the collaborative work that I have been doing with the wellbeing team and some external um, collaborative work. And then I'll just be finishing off by um, talking about you know, how we would still like to progress with supporting um, graduates into the world of work and transitioning out of university and what some of the future plans are. So just going to have a look at the class of 20 two and the lifetime offer so since um 2020 all SHU graduates have a, a lifetime offer to the careers and employability service this means that at any time after they have graduated if they would like some support um to do with anything to do with the careers or employability then they can come back to the careers team and access that support Unfortunately, that offer isn't um, replicated in other areas of the university. So the wellbeing team, for example, the international team don't offer that lifetime um, offer, but we do. And that was something that university put in place um, to, to the pandemic uh, in, in response to the pandemic. Um, but there's sort of no um, plans to, to remove um, that lifetime offer. That is something that is going to continue. For our graduates which is which is just fantastic okay i'm just going to click onto that link um so a little bit more about uh, the lifetime offer and what how we support graduates but i'm just going to stop sharing and, and reshare that website page just bear with me one second just need to bring it to the front here there we go my internet pages and then i'll be able to screen share it okay it's going to go back to graduates here hopefully that's all loaded for you okay so this is the graduate page 
of the Sheffield Hallam University website. Okay. Um, so as part uh, of, the, of the package to support graduates, quite a lot of the information is listed on this web page here. So it's, it's called Gradvantage, and that's the lifetime offer to students. Um, and so all uh, communication and marketing materials that, that go out to students to discuss that and, and to remind them of the support that is available, it is branded as Gradvantage. Since September, we have um, brought into the Handshake platform where we advertise all jobs, regardless of if that's part-time jobs, placements, graduate jobs, internships. We also put all our events and sessions on Handshakes for students to book. Graduates can still access this as well. So they can still see um, you know, all the jobs that we come across and we post on there, um, and they can still see any workshops. Uh, and sessions that they might want to attend as well. They can still access the online careers tool. So we do have Career Centre 360. We have Graduates First portal with the Assessment Centre simulations. Um, the, the Career Centre 360 can look at CVs. There's, there's a whole host of resources which they can still access, as well as being able to still book one-to-one -one appointments or practice interview um, with, uh, with a careers advisor as well. So they can still access that service, which, which is just fantastic. So as part of that, um, every year, the university um, offers RISE internships, and that's where our employer partnership officers work with SMEs, so the small and medium enterprises in the city, in Sheffield City region, and um, put together um, different roles which students could go into um, to do internships, as an example down here, of some that were available. These RISE roles are initially offered out to um, any final year students who fit under the widening participation label. They're offered out to those first. Um, and then if there's any which don't have uh, many applicants or, or in general, there isn't a lot of applicants, then that is opened out to all, um, to all final year students. Okay. The next thing on my slide, Sorry, I just need to stop um, sharing again and just reshare. So give me a second. I've got so many tabs open for so many different things uh, to show you. Let me find the correct one. Here we go. So now I mentioned before that. Um, working collaboratively with wellbeing. And I will talk a little bit more about some of the other things that we are doing. But also as part of the class of 2022, we have put together um, a, a two part session. So two afternoons um, on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. And as part of those sessions, myself and the wellbeing team will be talking to students about um, practical, um, practical practical mindful skills which they can take into their workplace or their world of work um, and I will also be talking about some real life situations where you can use those skills and they can help you um, at work. So just to read the description here, it says it's a two part workshop, part of the class of 2022 offer in collaboration with the SHU Careers and Employability Service. It aims to provide you with the psychological skills to support your well-being as you transition into the workplace and it will help you feel more equipped to successfully embrace the career opportunities and challenges ahead. I won't read all of that description there. As you can see, it just sort of goes into details about what's in, in the first um, part of the session and what's in the second part. And also for both of these parts, we have got um, uh, an alumni attending, so two separate alumni. On the first day, we have an alumni who um, has set up her own business and has also um, dealt with anxiety for the past decade. 
she's there to talk about her transition and how she transitioned from university into being self-employed. The second day, we have an alumni coming who is just about to start her um, solicitor training in June. That commences in June, and she has been experiencing imposter syndrome. So she's also going to talk about her transition into her further training and work, and um, what what both of them, what mindful skills um, they use to support them. So that's just something else that we are um, collaboratively coming together to support these final years as they transition out of university. It's going to stop sharing there and just go back onto the presentation slides. Okay. What we're really trying to get across in these um, sessions is really trying to break down that um, uh, misconception that, that a lot of students, or especially final years, think uh, and believe that's portrayed in the media that they will be jumping, you know, straight out of university and straight into that graduate job. Now, for a small portion, that, that is what happens, but for um, you now a lot of, of students, it's, um, it's a lot longer process than that, and it's more of a, a, a wiggly uh, process. It's um, a lot of stepping stones to get from A to B, not just that one clear jump. And those stepping stones are an accumulation of different experiences, different activities. Um, could be interviews that they've they've been to and, and been unsuccessful, applications they've put in, um, everything, everything that you know is is constantly enhancing them uh, and their employability skills, and it's all those experiences that come together, which help lead them um, to that end goal. Often, not just that straight um, forward leap. Um, and just trying to make student, you know, the, those those students in those final years and, and those graduates more aware that that is normal. You know, it's about normalising that, and that often is what happens. And it's about how you can um, use those experiences to your uh, advantage, um, and how you can learn from them, and how you can you know, continually be on this um, this constant development uh, and this constant career journey, uh, and that it's something that is with you for all your working life, and not just something that you just jump uh, into after university. So that's one of the aims uh, and what we're trying to support graduates with, um, with these joint uh, wellbeing and careers sessions. Okay, so just move the slides. So just to talk a little bit more about Mind Talk um, in particular. Um, so as I mentioned at the start, I originally joined a colleague on this program um, who has then since left. So it is, uh, is myself that is running the Mind Talk program now. So the program is aimed at supporting students um, and graduates who have a, a mental health condition. And um, to take the um, to take the wording from the Equality Act, a mental health condition is considered a disability if it has a long-term effect on your normal day-to-day -day activities, which is defined under the Equality Act 2010. So as part of the programme, I put together a series of sessions, usually three, which are designed for final year students. And these are broken down into three separate topics. One which is looking for disability confident employers. Second one which is disclosing a disability. And the third one which is graduate employment. Okay. Uh, these sessions are promoted via social media channels, internal departmental communications to students and, and a direct email to those that have specified they have a mental health disability on their SHU enrolment form. However, it clearly states um, on the session description that uh, you know, students do not need to have, to have disclosed that um to attend these sessions they can still come along and it doesn't also have to be a mental health disability you know the topics of those sessions can also support students with other disabilities and the reason why it's focused on mental health is because disability is so huge um and we need a lot more staff, really. We would need a lot more staff to um, be working a lot more with the disability team and working a lot more with the wellbeing team to, to offer 
more programs that would be something that we'd love to do in the future um but at the minute we, we, we you know we, we're just focusing on uh, mental health so we, we don't rule out anybody with with any other disabilities that might want to come along to these sessions um with these my talk sessions i also work with a local solicitor who comes along and she does a q a at the end um, so she can then give those real life example of situations where um, individuals may have asked for regional adjustments so at, at work and at what they've asked for uh, what kind of things are, are considered reasonable and um, she can also answer any specific law related questions as well so it's really useful to have her there it's really useful for the students um, who might have some real um, specific or legal questions that they want to ask and um, within the mind talk program um, other sessions are offered to second years who might be placement seeking because again if somebody has a mental health disability or, or any disability how they um may maybe approaching their placement or job search um could be very different to somebody who who doesn't have um a disability so um it's just helping them say try and consider um what would support them uh while whilst they are looking and applying for either a placement or a graduate job okay also um unfortunately since the pandemic we have noticed an increase in students and graduates disclosing mental health disabilities um, and health and well-being concerns in appointments with ourselves um, an increase in students and graduates experiencing in, in imposter syndrome and negative bias um, and to help us um, support one another as colleagues, as part of the Mind Talk program, um, myself and my previous colleague also divide some staff support initiatives. We devised two separate things. One is called Talking Rooms, and that is a 30 minute slot at the end of a monthly professional advisor forum where we discuss topics and, and scenarios which may have happened in one to ones or curriculum sessions. And then also um, listening clusters where um, employability advisors, my colleagues and I can opt to be part of a smaller group of advisors who agree when and where they're going to meet and, and discuss any work related uh, experiences over a friendly ear. We just wanted to make sure that we are also looking after our, our own well-being um, and that we are obviously in a healthy position to, to support students. Um, I'm certainly not saying that these initiative, um, you know, solve all our queries or concerns um, at all, um, but I certainly helped in terms of our own uh, well-being, um, especially amongst our busy schedules, to be able to catch up and share experiences with colleagues and then support one another um, to then obviously go back and um, signpost or help any of these students or graduates. Okay, so I'm going to look then about some of the other collaborations that we have been doing. Um, so because of the work that I do with the, uh, the Mind Talk project, I was put in touch with a lady called Gemma Long, who runs the Long Game. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, Gemma has also produced a um, presentation for this NAPD conference. Um, Gemma has allowed me to come along to some of the fantastic sessions that she runs for the neurodiverse students and graduates um, and be a part of them, which has just been fantastic. Um, I'd love to work with Gemma a little bit more in the future as well. As well as those um, class of 2022 sessions, I'm also working much more closely with the wellbeing team. So as I said, as well as that workplace and me session, which was delivered, which is going to be delivered this year, um, we have also for the last three years been delivering some bouncing back sessions over the summer to uh, final years or, or graduates. Um, and this session was designed to help those who 
or soon to be graduating or just graduated, who may have experienced unsuccessful applications or interviews, it was helped them use these experiences positively um, and, and use them to be able to move forward. And also to remind them, as I said before, that it is very normal um, and a career, of a career journey to be more wiggly uh, than straightforward. Yes, the future plans. So that was a very um, quick overview, Phil, of what of what we are doing uh, so far to support students transitioning out of university um, from a careers perspective, but also from my perspective with working with um, the Mind Talk program. We know we are aware that there is a very big link between careers and and your well being, and we endeavour to grow the relationship. Uh, between the careers uh, team and our internal well-being team. Want to offer that um, more collaborative and joined up support for students and graduates. And over the summer, myself and the well-being team are putting together a page on their well-being website, which is specifically going to be aimed at graduates. As I said at the minute, um, they, they, I think the graduates get like a six months um support where they can still email the well-being team um, or have appointments but then after that um there is just ourselves uh, who as a survey still offers support at the university so we're looking at putting a page together spe specifically for those graduates on the well-being website which will host um a lot of links a lot of resources um where students can can be signposted to uh, as a graduate if they feel that they need further support once they have left the university we're hoping to have specific pages for different groups of, of students and graduates such as uh, for those with disabilities um, and international students i'm also in the process of um, organizing some mental health first aid training for our careers and employability advisors i think that is so um, important um, and as I mentioned before especially with the rise in graduates um, discussing and disclosing uh, their, their mental health and their well-being with us in one-to-ones it would be really um, useful to have this training so that is also in our future plans thank you very much for listening if you have any questions um, in relation to anything that I've discussed today, uh, please get in touch. My email address is r.westwood at shu.ac.uk. Thank you very much.